this year is more of a walkthrough kind of you know, figure things out as I go but it should be pretty cool I'm gonna make this into like a table a butcher's table that will be like a crazy mad butcher I'm fixing to pull this crib out got from a garage sale on one of those online garage sale sites for 20 bucks I'm gonna make it look old rusty and and uh, blood stained and dirty and filthy that's the creepy doll the lady gave to me for free from the one I bought for the grad from the grad sale this crib it's haunted all right peace out these are all going to be small updates you'll be getting updates as I continue this process all right later got the little butcher's table put together cut it up made a little half-assed butcher's table got that for free all the wood at a construction site here in my development there's a lot of new construction still on new houses so I just went to the scrap bits and Cut a few chunks and put it together. Well, that'll be my butcher table. These are the types of paints I'm use. I got the hammer type. I'm gonna try to give each one of these uh, like a rust look. So I'm gonna go with a darker base and work my way up to a lighter. And we'll see how that turns out. These are where my buddies are gonna be hanging. You gotta make these rust look too, or hammered look. And they'll be in that position over there, in that position. Alright, peace out. Make some little bars here. And we're gonna mount to the roof. Put some holes. It's just a plain bar. And then I'm gonna turn these bad boys looking into like they're old and rusty. Step one. Alright, here we are. Put some eye bolts on. But you're gonna hold them in place. As you can see. And I'll get that all colored too. Alright. He's added a little dark base to get these bad boys a dark base color. As you see, this is a dark base. And I'm going to put some uh, hammered rust -oleum to give it the, uh, the metal look. And then I'll start dabbing lighter colors to get to that rust look and like they're old and weathered. Alright, All right, now Peace I got out. the silver up. Starting to make these things look like they're metal and weathered. What I'm going to do now is with a darker color, the hammered type of paint. Just going to use a plain old sponge. And I guess I'll use this corner. And what I'll do is I'll just dab color to make it look weathered and rusted. Just simple little dabs. And now we're going to get some weathered rust look. And I'll do this through the whole process, through the bars and everything like that. Kids that are interested. <laughs> Alright, All right, got Peace some out. more down. As you can see, the colors have changed. I made it look like it's uh, old and weathered and rusty. I'm working my way to the lighter colors to make it more rust, rusty and weathered. Pretty simple. Just dab with the sponge and spray it into the thing. Um, these are all scrap wood. I didn't go out and spend anything. There's a lot of house construction around. These are scrap wood. I just grabbed the pieces, nailed them together, and I'm going to create. Fairly inexpensive. Layers. Got it all done with the different color variations to give it the rust look. It's kind of good, I would say. As you can see. Pretty nice detail to it. Simple, quick and easy. Okay, put some blood splatter. I'm gonna wait till these bad boys dry to put the blood. But that's it. Quick simple project. Next thing will be the crib. Right over there. That will be next. Oh, you two right. folks here. What's up? This is part of my haunted house for 2014. It's gonna be a lot of evil babies and stuff. I'm gonna turn this into old rusted looking crib using these types of paints, different layers. And this blue bucket. Gonna make that old and rusty looking. And the mattress, I'm gonna put some blood splatter. I stepped in it and got dirty a little bit. I'm gonna get a little more dirtier. But that's today's project. So I'll be pieced together as a whole. Everything will be put in there. As I build everything as it needs. Alright, yeah. peace out. Put some blood splatter on it. Kind of made a mess, but that's all good. Maybe I should come off. Give me 
with a little blood spatter, put some bloody hands once the kids get home from school or final touches. And here's the bucket, the blood bucket. Yeah. yeah, I got some blood in there, but it's gonna be a lot of blood in there. All right, so far so good. All right, knock out lately done yet, because I gotta get some more of the stage blood. Hopefully that all dries up real good. But can anybody guess what this costume is going to be this year? It's all around. I need some more stained blood. I didn't have that much. But it's a start. Let this bad boy dry. Peace out.